All right, switch back to fire magic. And let's go ahead and sell this chunk of iron ore. Hopefully we can upgrade our armor. Go ahead and sell that. Now, if you don't sell it right away and go to the next area, he'll, buy, he'll offer to pay 6,000 for it. It's just better to get two, two chunks of ore and sell those. All right, uh, let's go ahead and armor should be ready. Is the plate mail affordable? Oh. Let me double check. I accidentally skipped through that. 8,000, sadly, nope, can't afford it. Rest plate though. 2,000, yep, definitely better than nothing. All right, let's go ahead and double back. Up. Oh. And select the right option here. Go ahead and uh, pick up that uh, long sword really quick. There we go, just for completion's sake. And the final shield, large shield, 6,000. I might be able to afford it by the time I'm done with the off screen grinding, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. What I have is good enough. Don't need to worry about magic right now. Fortunately, since we are done with the. Uh, since we have saved Lilia, sure. Oh, I can't read whose house that is. Oh, Gila, here we go. Hey, you! Aren't you the adventure guy who's resting about over Banoa's? You are? Perfect. Lately, there have been seriously creeping noises coming from my basement. It's been going on for a while now, and it's driving me crazy. Since you're an adventurer, and adventurers explore things, well, I was kind of hoping... Would you mind checking my basement for demons? Investigate the basement? Uh, sure. Give it all you got. And he'll go ahead and open that up for us. Relay you yourself into my basement whenever you wish. All I ask in return is that you please figure out what's going on down there. Thanks much, Lee Adventurer. So what we need is that demon bell that we found earlier. Go ahead and step inside. Nicely, ominously quiet in here, so better go ahead and do a safety save. We're at full HP, we should be fine. Though a sense of evil permeates, permeates this place. Now let's go ahead and uh, summon the demons. There was a distinct sense of something ominous on the other side of the wall. Hey, Dogi! Nope, not Dogi. Absolutely filled with demons! So this is why I did not grind for them in the mine itself. But these guys do not infinitely respawn. If we want to see an achievement, we do have to kill them all. Go ahead and run back and forth until you kill them. I'm still taking 19 damage from this, from the or or calcus. Oh. And if you're a little worried about your house, go ahead and hit him with magic. Yeah, don't get reckless. That's the main thing. Oh, that felt good. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll get enough experience to level up fully here. But look at that, my, my gold is just rising up like crazy here. So the demons in his immediate surroundings were vanquished, but Adol sends more of them in the Sanctuary Beyond. So there's your cue that we're done in here. And like before, just uh, kill everything in here. So there's the cave-in that we couldn't bypass earlier. This was the alternate route I was talking about. So Adol's chaotic surroundings suddenly became calm and still for his steam achievement, Gila's Monsters. There was no further indication of the demonic presence. It seemed as if all the demons had been eradicated. For that, 400 experience, and a level up. I am a priest fact. Hear my words, you who have gathered the books of ease. It is good that you have come. Demon strength grows daily, and soon the powers we have granted will be no more. They still function by the grace and protection of the goddesses, but their time grows to a close, bit by bit. If the demons are not stopped, their reign of chaos and destruction shall expand and consume the world entire. But you, warrior, may yet bring peace. Solomon Shrine hides the source of all. Go there and put an end to he who governs this evil. A relic exists granted by the goddesses. It is known as the Scroll of Guidance. 
Each of the goddesses' statues is blessed by their will and favor. Stand before them and read it, and the way shall be made plain to see. First, find their graven image in Mundoria to receive their wisdom. For now, it is merely blank paper. But open it before the statues, and you will be told what you must do. With this, we receive the Scroll of Guidance. Now the sealed door to Solomon's Shrine shall be open. A loud noise echoed from somewhere in the distance. And full heal again. So that's quite nice. Don't need to keep the Demon Bell equipped. No more bosses in here, so no nothing more to grind. And... Good luck you. I see you cleared the demons from my basement. Thank you so much. Now I can have some peace and quiet again. And, uh... If you should ever need to come back, feel free. I'm in your debt, good sir. Your selfless noble actions have not gone unnoticed. Well, that is actually everything we need to do in Lance Village at this point. Uh, I can't afford any new equipment. The well, best thing to do is continue on with the plot. All we have to do is just head back to the Restini Mine, and that door that was sealed up is now available. Is now open to us. Let's go ahead and check that out. All right, I'm actually going to. Uh, uh, this may be a bonus episode. This may be a regular episode. This is a good time to get caught up on everything in regards to filling out the, the current bestiary, as well as making sure I have all the all the available uh, people for the for the notes. So, this may, I don't know if this will be a bonus or regular episode, depending on how many parts are total. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get that rotor fruit back. So, the main thing is, I'm just going to go get, go fill up the bestiary, then double back to town, find that person I missed, and then we can move on. So, this is just going to be a fairly quick, fairly quick uh, grind session. But, oh, before that, yeah, I need to show this. As that all unfurled the scroll of guidance, words began to appear on the blank faded parchment. To the one who reads the scroll, you are the last hero upon whom we, the six priests of beasts, place our hopes. The world now teeters on the brink of ruin. Our strength alone is not sufficient to stop the forthcoming catastrophe. We need the strength of a warrior. The ultimate warrior? Nah, I'm not going to do that joke anymore. <laughs> Please, journey to Solomon's Shrine. You will find statues of goddesses scattered throughout the land. Stand before them and unfurl the scroll, and you will be shown a measure of their wisdom. Please, warrior, do what you must to reach Solomon's Shrine. Is that all at each word? It gradually faded away. So there's our tip for, well, our main adventure. Yep, we gotta get to Solomon's Shrine. Yeah, these guys spawn and back together nice and quickly. Won't take long at all. Up, didn't go far enough. And I think these guys took almost 20 hits to kill earlier. There we go. You're done. You're done? So we should easily have both the other enemies in here. Do a quick double check. Yep. And there's one of you over here. Also, yep. I don't think I'll be able to afford uh, any new equipment with just fighting these guys. That's just good to do so. Okay, these will... Yeah, these will take a few passes. I'm worried about the Nomas. They don't appear as often as the, as the Warzers. Best thing to do here, just run back and forth. And the nice thing is, yeah, even if there aren't a whole lot of them, one is still better than none. All right, we'll finish these guys in one more, or er, full pass, which is perfect. I just need to find a room in the Sanctuary Atoll that has the other two. All right, you're done. All right, so 10 more of those guys, that's actually good. All right, so I just need to find the other enemies that I can kill. This is actually a perfect room for these guys.
Excellent. Gotta love how fast these, how fast this can go. You're done. And were there any other there's the slimes here? Uh, there's only, yeah, there's only one of them in here. I'm gonna find an, uh, another spot in the sanctuary where I can find two of them. They're probably either them or the blue guys are the ones that you encounter the least of. Here we go. Yeah, I still need 15 of these guys, which is an ouch. But, uh, yeah, so, well, it'll balance out. It's just a long walk. This is probably the best room you can get to quickly. Unfortunately, it is a bit of a run back and forth. I'd say out of the early game enemies, these are the two that uh, take the longest. Fortunately, if I finish the slimes, I can go finish the nomads back in the first room before, before going to the next area. All right, five more of them, excellent. As a matter of fact, this is probably gonna be slightly faster. Just to get you to spawn in. It's the blue guy that is taking up, taking up the time. Yep, you don't respawn that quickly, so it's a shame. You know what? Yeah, let's just do this. But fortunately, I need to find my way back to the spot where I got the ore. Let's double check that I got all those other guys. All right, you're done. Downside is we just don't uh, get enjoy that boss music for very long. Yeah, bosses in this game go by. Okay, you're done. Okay, not quite all of you, but that, that's actually a good thing. That just means we can run back and forth along here. Perfect. All right, and you guys. Yep, already done. Oh, go ahead and double check. Oh, there's our first boss entry, by the way. All right, run through these to be fast and good to go. So yeah, we've only filled out one page of the bestiary. <laughs> but like I said, I did miss one person in town. This will take a this will take a little bit longer to double check. Okay, uh, return magic. There we go. All right, excuse me while I double check my notes here. We've got so many to check. The best thing to do, switch on over. Okay, uh, Chris is, Chris, oh, I do need to talk to both twins. I was wrong about that, I am sorry. Uh, which one is which here? So yeah, they say the same thing. Yeah, they, they can't tell each other apart. So, yeah, you do have to talk to them individually. That is my bad. Anyway, uh, that didn't take as long as I thought it was going to, so that's quite nice. Can't afford any new gear yet. Need 6,000 to 8,000. I'm not going to worry about that. Let's go ahead and uh, just rest up in uh, Benoa's house. You can also rest up in the clinic, but that costs money.
Yep, go ahead and let us take a rest. Yeah, let let I'll let you repay me by letting me sleep in your daughter's bed. So well, that is absolutely everything we can do in Lance Village for the time being. I will I will be coming back here to uh, get some equipment once I can afford it. And that'll actually be done before the end of the next area, so that's perfect. Alright, so just coming back into Mundoria here. I'll probably keep the grind in the regular episode. That didn't take Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I wasn't done. I wasn't done! Never mind! Never mind! <laughs> yeah, there we go. Let's kill the rest of these guys. I just uh, glanced too quickly at the <laughs> at the bestiary. Fortunately, yeah, it doesn't take long. Doesn't take long. Won't take long. It's three already. Three out of five tops. There we go. Okay, now we should be caught up. Ah, the joys of doing this live. Oh, with that uh, with that door open, we can just run all the way up here. And it's a long trick. Go ahead and save right here. This is actually a good time to create a second save. And move on to the next area.